Hi, my name is Gaurav Yadav and I am the teacher trainer for BenQ India. The objective of this video and the videos to come under this series will be to guide first time users on how to start using BenQ IFP and get familiar with the product. This video has three clear segments. First, the basic user interface introduction followed by introducing you how to use the sidebar and lastly learn about all the icons on the home screen. Without any further ado, let's get started. The first step is to press the power button. After the IFP is turned on, the screen that you get in front of you is called the user interface. In this video, I'll take you through the user interface and explain the icons and their usage. Before we do that, one thing that I would want to highlight is that the IFP is infrared touch based technology and has a tempered glass. So you can use both the stylus and fingers to use touch on the panel. You can also use any object for touch whose tip is more than 2.8 mm in diameter. Back to the icons on home screen, let's check them out one by one. Starting from the left, local, public. Here you can set your default wallpaper on the home screen. Personal settings, wallpaper settings. Either you can select any of these colors as a default wallpaper or you can select your own default wallpaper and save. In the same way, you can also set a thumbnail from here. So thumbnail is nothing but your profile picture which you can browse from here and save and there you go. Coming to the center four icons, first icon on the left lets you change the input source. All BenQ software applications are on Android source and if connected to an OPS you can select the OPS. If connecting a laptop through HDMI then select HDMI input source. The connected input source to the panel will show as white and if no connection then it will show as grey. Second icon is called the EZWrite. This is the EZWrite writing board software. As the name suggests it is a whiteboard software to teach. We will talk about this software in details in our upcoming videos. Third icon with little four boxes shows you all the applications which are pre-installed on the panel. Most commonly used applications would be AMS file manager. So this is the file manager where you can open all your audio, video, image and PPT, PDF files directly on the panel itself. Next is the BenQ store. So BenQ has its own repository wherein you can download the applications which are there inbuilt. So these are all the education apps which are available for you to download. Next is Firefox, which you can use for internet surfing on day to day basis. After that, we have InstaShare wireless two way mirroring. So you can mirror from your mobile and tablet devices directly on the panel with this application. Next, we have WPS Office. WPS Office will open all your MS Office files, Word, PPT, Excel, and PDF files directly on the panel. If you want to create app shortcuts on home screen, just long press any icon and drag it on the home screen of the panel and the shortcut is created. Similar way, we also have widgets like sticky notes, next is toolbox and the clock. So you can set the time zone, you can have thought for the day. If you want to remove any widget, just long press and take it to the center. Same way, you can also delete the app shortcuts. Thank you. So if you see the home screen, bottom right area is for app shortcuts and top area is for widget shortcuts. Fourth icon is for settings. General tab lets you increase or decrease the volume or mute the speakers. From picture, you can enable or disable the eye care feature or the auto backlight option, which automatically adjusts the light of the panel as per the ambient light. Here you can see. 
or if you disable both you can increase or decrease the display brightness network tab lets you connect to the internet via ethernet or wi-fi for wi-fi i have connected a benq recommended wi-fi dongle to the usb port which also gives me option to enable the hotspot on the panel so if you are not connected to any network you can also create a hotspot on the panel on the home screen there are single angle mark which carries common tools it is on both sides of the screen so if you are on the left side you can use the left key if you are on the right side you can use the right key and we call this the sidebar now let's see what we can do with the sidebar so first icon is the home screen so let's say if i open a video and now I want to go back to the home screen. I just click the sidebar home screen and now I am back on the home screen. Next icon is back button. Let's say if I want to open a PDF file. So PDF file is open. Now I want to open another file. For that I can just press the back button and I am out of it. Third icon is to switch between the applications. So let's say we have video running, we have a WPS Office PDF, we have Firefox browser. So I can switch between the applications from this icon. Next we have the EZWrite writing board software. So from sidebars also you can go directly to the EZ Write writing board software. Next icon is switch between the input sources. So if I want to change the input source to HDMI, OPS, VGA, I can do it directly from the sidebar. Next icon is the freeze icon. So let's say I have a video. Now on this video, I want to elaborate a certain frame. So what I can do is, I can just click on this freeze icon and automatically the screen is frozen. I can elaborate and then again unfreeze. Last icon is to enable the floating tool which can be activated anytime, anywhere on the panel except the EZWrite writing board software. We will discuss more about the floating tool in our upcoming videos. This is all about the user interface of BenQ Interactive Flat Panel. Simple, isn't it? Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for more such informational videos.